Hello, and welcome to an eight-minute demo for System Center Opalis Incident Remediation. My name is Charles Joy. I'm a field management TSP specialized in Opalis. Hello. Today we're going to take a look at a demonstration of the Opalis integration server as it works through a workflow of incident triage and remediation. We'll be looking for alerts in Operations Manager, and we will be uh, monitoring for those alerts with Opalis. Then we'll be cutting a ticket in a homegrown ticketing system, performing some triage, then some remediation, and then we'll be able to uh, close out the incident and close out the um, alert itself. So let's take a, take a look at the different components here. So the alert that will be generated will essentially be the fact that this website has gone down. And as you can see, the website is currently up. And our ticketing system here has the ability to see open and closed incidents and you can actually see what's um, in each incident and these are the incidents that we'll be filling out with Opalis and closing automatically. And as you're familiar with the Opalis integration server, this is the actual workflow that will be uh, this is the actual workflow that will be uh, running and um, demonstrating in this use case. So, uh, just to run through some of the steps here, as I stated, we're monitoring for Operations Manager alerts on a specific filter. So we're connected to Operations Manager. We're looking for new alerts with this, this filter. Now, these aren't the only filters that you um, have the ability to use. You certainly could add more if you wanted to. In fact, you could filter on just about every field that's available. And some fields even give you the option to browse what so currently available. But we're going to use this for the actual um, use case here. Next we're going to create a record in that ticketing system. Then once that ticket's created, we're going to go ahead and check for false positive, start our triage process. If, the, if it is a false positive, then we'll go up here, create a comment in the ticket, close the alert out, and then close the incident. If it isn't a false positive and the website is truly down, then we're going to start some remediation tasks. These two objects represent the remediation tasks for this use case. And in this case, we're just deleting some files and then restarting a web app using, uh, using a script that we have. Once the web app uh, object has completed, we have the ability to retest that web page to see if it's back up. If it isn't back up, then obviously we would want to escalate the incident. And even if that failed during execution, we would want to escalate the incident. And this is the only time we'd actually involve um, people into this process. Other than that, it's all completely automated. If the test is good, the retest, then we go ahead and create a comment updating the ticket, update and then close the alert, and then finalize up update the record in the ticketing system is resolved, then close it, and then for demonstration purposes send a pop-up with the information um, that it has been completed. So let's take a look at what this uh, is going to do when we actually demonstrate it. I'll minimize this. We can see that we have to watch for active alerts in Operations Manager so that we shouldn't have any in here related to the issue. We don't. It's just a different kind of error minimize all this stuff and we'll go back to the web page check that it is up now for demo purposes I have a handy dandy break that web page um, batch file that I'll run and now we should be able to see that the web page is actually down and there's an alert in operations manager here it is so Opalis is going to pick this up and run this through its paces and then finally, uh, it's already working on the remediation. I can't even speak fast enough to uh, account for that. It's probably already closed out the alert, maybe. Yep, it's already closed out. Now if we take a look at the closed alerts, we're going to see a lot of different things here. And I'm going to go between screens here, and it might I'm going to go slow so it might be, because I don't want it to be confusing. So the pop-up that came up was the end result of the running workflow. And it states that your incident was created, updated, and closed. And for reference, it was incident 108 and related to a SCOM ID of this alert ID. Now, we 
I'm not going to search by that ID, but I'm going to find that um, alert in here. Probably simplest if I search by age. There it is. And we can see that incident 108 has been populated in here. And if we wanted to populate other fields, some of the custom fields, uh, we could have done that um, with Opalis as well. So now that we know that the incident or the alert is closed, let's go and check on the website. So it's down here. But now it is back up, so Opalis was able to remediate the problem. And finally, we can go and check out the incident, which should be incident 108 as it was referenced. So if we go to the closed incidents tab, we see 108 here. And we see that the ticket has been completely filled out and closed with updates um, in the comments. So web server is running, script has restored the service, and then timestamp, uh, for and you know, it matches what we're dealing with here. And Opalis was able to take and perform all these actions, including obviously sending the pop-up for demonstration purposes. So let's take a look quickly at the logs that were generated from that last run. So here we are. And the logs in Opalis show you exactly what step was taken at, every, at each uh, execution. So we're capturing SCOM alerts, we create a record, we checked the web page. It was actually down, so it failed, so it came down this red path. Then it went, deleted some log files, restarted the web app, retested, and then did the rest of the actions, as you can see, fi finally um, sending the pop-up. Now, I want to show you what would happen if it went down the false positive route. So, like before, I have a handy-dandy create false positive batch file. I'm going to go ahead and run that. We'll notice that the website is still up, but we still do get an alert in Operations Manager as listed as false positive, or it will be false positive because we know the website is up. And Opalis is going to pick this guy up, create an incident for it, and uh, go ahead and close it. As, and it's already closed, so if we go over here and check out the closed again, you can see we get incident 109 as usual, and it is closed. And if we check out the actual incidents here, let's do a quick refresh. We should have 109. And this time we see false positive, the website is running normally. Finally, if we go back into the logs like we did before, into the Opalis logs, we'll see that the logs are a bit different because the workflow actually went down a different path. We still captured SCOM alerts. We still create a record. We still check the web page, but this time it was still up. So we create a comment, close the alert, and close the incident. And that was the demonstration of this um, incident remediation and triage uh, use case uh, within Opalis. We certainly appreciate you watching. Thank you.